All right, man. I read an article about Jameson Will, Will, uh, Williams real quick. Um, and it basically says NFL admits that uh, Jameson Williams. Uh, it basically admits says that Jam it admits that the NFL uh, screwed Jameson Williams. It admits that it screwed Jameson Williams. And at the end of the day, the number one thing about Jameson Williams was that the first thing was when the news kind of broke. A lot of fans was like, "Well, everybody else got." year of suspensions why didn't jameson williams get it a, a year worth of suspensions then it came out that you know what the rumor was he made a bet at the detroit uh lions uh training camp facility i mean at the practice facility in allen park i think everybody understood that okay six games why would you bet and the rumor was he bet in the parking lot um he bet in the parking lot uh out in allen park at the practice facility then you know weeks later it seemed like the actual truth came out and the actual truth was that he made a, a bet on a college football game. Okay. He made a, a, a bet on a college football game at the team hotel. Now, apparently they were saying around 10 or less than 10% of NFL players knew that rule. And my thing was this, I, I agree like six games was excessive. Uh, I think it was a fitting crime for, I'm fitting time for the crime for, Making the bet in the in the practice facility parking lot or the practice ah, okay I get that, but you know you making that that bet in a team hotel that's not really NFL property, bro. And he didn't make a bet. He didn't make a bet at the team hotel at the on, on NFL property. Even if y'all paying for the hotel, that's still not y'all property. So to me, to me that turned out to be a dumb rule. Now, that's just my opinion. But on the flip side of that, if that's a rule, you know, that's what y'all y'all voted on and that's what y'all ratified for um, in the NFL, you know, holler at your union. The union got to do a better job. Flat out. Holler at the union. That's the union job, to do a better job. You know, but you got to know your handbook, whatever you work at, especially in a unionized job. Um, you got to know your handbook, you know, and that's that's your union, your, your uh, you know, that's and that's your, your team stewards job. You should know that handbook like the back of his hand. You know, so, you know, you know, like I said, what makes it super frustrating is that he missed the majority of last season. You got to remember, too, I was advocating for him not to play at all coming off the injury because we didn't want him to re-injure it. You know, they have problems getting him to football, but hey, he got to get his feet wet. He got the experience in the NFL. He got to score a touchdown, should have had another one. Bogus call, you know, Bogus call, called it back, but, um, but now they talk about, well, you know, we in the field basically talk about, you know, what we can do now is now we can, uh, you know, give, you know, teams a better understanding. Nah, bro, this dude should be spending for like half a half a, a half a football, really not even a full game, maybe a game. But NFL admits they screw Alliance wide receiver Jameson Williams, says the NFL gambling policy education the league is refocusing emphasis on their – Existing gambling policy accompanied by a few new guidelines uh, was unveiled on Tuesday with the intention of, on simplifying the message and improving communications with the players. That's that lies right on your right on your league, and it also lies directly on your union. You know what I'm saying? Which we know they union trash. NFL missed they uh, screwed Detroit Lions receiver James Williams. The NFL's uh, recent unveiling of a refocus on the emphasis on the gambling policy. Along with introduction of a six rule policy, is undeniably admission they screwed Jameson Williams and that they failed to adequately adequately educate his players on gambling guidelines. By implementing these new measures, the NFL is acknowledging that they fell short of ensuring uh, the players like Williams fully understood the policy and its consequences. 
Okay, and yeah, I agree. Let me see who wrote this and give them credit on this article. It was do, 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 do. WG uh WG Bright. He wrote it. I don't know if they got a you know picture in there. I ain't got a picture in there, but here you go. So he's a hundred percent right. He's a hundred percent right, and they should at least cut his suspension down to a game or two. Really, a half, but we ain't playing college. So, so they six rules of keys of emphasis or rules. Here are the six keys of rules regarding the NFL's gambling policy for players. Um, excuse me, for players to adhere to. Furthermore, as additional measure, additional measures, the NFL has implemented a mandatory requirement for NFL rookies to participate in educational sessions regarding the league's gambling policy. Moreover, the league will dispatch representatives to team facilities to provide in-person assistance in eluding, uh, elu 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 eludating, excuse me, I uh, hope I said our evil kid dating the boundaries outline in the field gamma policy. Everybody it should be mandatory every year. You should do a refresher every year before the season. They should do a refresher. So, you know, at that point, this, this should have already been drilled in. They should have been already doing this, in my humble opinion. This should have been already a requirement. Bar none. Every year you should have a refresher course. You got to this day not to do it. You don't do it. You can't go back to practice and play until you, you know, clear this course. If it's somebody live teaching it or however they, however they want to do it. However they want to do it. You know? You know, but let's go over them. But if somebody live doing it, okay, I understand it. If it's just, you know, a refresher where you sit at the computer at some jobs, you go through it, then I understand it. I understand it at that point. But probably live, a couple live classes, you can get the option to do live classes. Rookie should all have live classes. After that, you know, veterans should, can be able to choose live classes or they just should be able to choose, you know, automated, greet as yourself slideshow. Don't bet on the NFL. Don't bet. Well, number one, don't bet on the NFL, meaning refraining from placing wages on National Football League games, suggesting, caution, advising, against participating in sports betting related to the NFL. Okay, that's the, the non-negotiable one. Don't gamble at team facilities or during role games. There you go. Don't gamble at team facilities or during role games. Advise against engaging in gambling activities at physical locations where NFL teams train or play their away games, highlighting the importance of maintaining a professional environment. So you can't vote at no NFL facilities, basically. You can't vote at the at the, the, uh, the arena. And it, you know, I will emphasize you can't vote at the team facility neither. Don't have someone bet for you. Don't have someone bet for you. Advise against delegating the task to place investment on your behalf. Another individual emphasize a personal responsibility and gambling decisions. You, I mean, you still can do that. They can't find out unless somebody snitch on you. But the way these people snitch, and I agree with number three, don't have nobody bet for you. Just don't bet on the NFL, period. Uh, don't share team inside information. Don't share team inside information cautions against disclosing confidential or privileged, uh, privileged information about the NFL teams that could potentially influence betting outcome, promote fair play and integrity. That's, so no, that's easy. Don't do it. They're going to find you. Best investigators in North America. Don't enter a sports book during the NFL season. Another great one. Don't enter a sports book during the NFL season. Just avoid the premise of establishing where sports betting is taking place, particularly during the NFL season, to minimize potential conflict of interest and inappropriate involvement. So, yeah, I mean, if you like going to the casino, just stay away from the sports book side of things. Or just don't even go to the casino during the season. Come on. Don't play daily fantasy football. There you go. Don't play daily fantasy football advice for against participating in the popular format of daily fantasy sports, specifically focus on football, indicating a recommendation to refrain from the particular type of gambling. It's gambling. People can become millionaires on there. It was already some bull job on there where one particular uh, app or um, I think, you know, FanDuel and DraftKings are about the same people. But one particular, you know, outlet was they, they employees had information and they employees was winning all the money. They swept that shit under the rug. But yeah, that's still a form of gambling. I play that every Sunday. I used to play basketball until FanDuel pretty much went positionless, and it was pointless, you know. I used to play like $10 a day on there. Um, but, yeah, I stopped playing. I just play football. I gamble on the weekends with football. 
Um, I'm kind of watching a little bit more college, so I'll be able to gamble a little bit more in college, but I'm getting excited for that. But, yeah, the daily fantasy is dope, but that's when you use pro football focus. But the bottom line, NFL must do a better job educating. The latest update on a gambling policy is clear indication that the NFL realized that it must do more to educate their athletes on the intricacies of gambling policy and potential pitfalls associated with it. This renewed emphasis is a step forward in rectifying uh, their past mistakes, providing players with the knowledge that they uh, need to inf make informed decisions, prevent similar incidents in the future. And yes, should have been doing this from the beginning, but hey, so it's a cause and effect. So he ain't appealing. But hey, let me know what you girls and guys think. I think they should reduce it to like a game. But you know how I go. They ain't going to do no favors for the Pistons. Uh, but thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, subscribe button, hit the bell icon button. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the link tree, you can find me on Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor Cash, at Venmo, PayPal, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, the whole nine. Appreciate the love support. Let me know what you girls and guys think in the comment section. One time for one time. Uh, Mercy Sports Talk. Peace.